Hello ladies and gentlemen, LPK here, bringing you another installment of our Let's Play here, of Armenia. We're taking off from where we left last time, where we took our first city. So we have a little bit of money in our treasury, so let us end this term and see what the next term will bring us. In the meantime, I've been playing Rome 2, and I can say that the game has been a real disappointment, and I will not be making any Let's Play on Rome 2. The game is really dumbed down, there is no diversification in the units, our family tree has been removed, it's not total war for me anymore, so I'm waiting until some modifications come out and fix the game, essentially. So, now I want to move my diplomats to see if we can track down some other factions and get some trade rights going on and some alliances. To hear is to obey. Because we are playing in the winter months, we're not really going to start a campaign Sire. yet. Onward. One thing we're gonna do is get our Javelin men to the capital to get some stability going on in our capital, which is our main cash flow. We've also retrained our units, so my people are not rationing anymore. They've got their supplies back. Okay, since we have some money in the bank left, I'm going to start building a military occupation building. This will give me the option to build a governmental building when the time comes there. So, this costs me, I think, 100, 200 denarii. And I'm gonna continue retraining my forces. I serve your will. So, our next target is. Metzgeta to continue conquering all of your cases. It's okay, let's end this turn. And also, one of the weird things about Rome 2 was that the biggest and most powerful faction, the Arche Seleucii, were divided into smaller pieces and they were not a threat anymore when you played with any other faction. So we got a marriage proposal by Baghdassar Hayastanitz. So he's an Armenian. Here we can see that he's from an Armenian noble. He's an occasional drinker. He's a poor tactician. Flagging, so minus one management. Gloomy. Again, minus influence, minus morale. He has the royal eye. He's a man, he's a family member. He's dull, charismatic, and lumberous. He's not really intelligent, but he's charismatic and thing. But I would have needed him to be a governor, so I will not accept this marriage proposal. Since this is spring now, it's time to start another campaign against my enemies. Next building I'm going to build is the Satrapi. This will give me public order bonus of minus 10. However, it will give me a morale bonus to all the troops training and I will get some tax bonus as well. So, okay. I'm going to take Mighty General. Sire. Oh, my whole army. Mighty General. And we're gonna move off and attack Sire! the enemy. Okay, let's have a look at my family tree and see what's going on there. So here we got our next king and his brother-in-law, who will be who will follow him up if he dies now. However, I'm hoping for Arman, Aram to 
come in age in nine years and take be my factionaire or his brother eventually here we have my cousin who's now the governor of the capital and our little brother who is still to come of age okay so let's return to our diplomat yes mighty lord see if we can discover Here any factions of the Out of moves, sir. So, like we can see, we got here one faction, Your so obedient servant. we will be moving no in this direction moves, next sir. turn. I want to get my... I get my spy near Amikaman, which is gonna be my conquest pretty soon. Poker hike. So that we can continue our conquest of the Or whole this. Caucasus. So let's just end us end our season here and move towards the summer. Okay. <coughs> okay. So now we got another candidate. This is a little bit better. He's also dull, but he's charismatic and vigorous. He's a hard worker. He's also Armenian. He's a poor tactician, but he has call, so that's plus one management. He has the royal eye, man grown, and he's also a family member. I'm going to accept it and have him join my army. Move out! Merging armies! Well, they move Waiting off to ambush. fight the enemy. Attack! We got a marriage. Depleted, mighty lord. Ooh, we got two marriages. That's nice. So, this is the history of the year of 270, what happened? So, Apollonius of Rhodos returned to Alexandria, the rebellious Roman commander at Regium, Decius loses his sight, the Romans capture Regium, and Cornelius Blasio is granted a triumph. M. Curius Dentatus dies. The Romans are having a fun time. My liege. So we made a small loss again. However, in two turns, I'll finish building this, and then I will start building the coastal clearing, which will give me the chance to start trading with other nations. After I conquer, let me in this turn first, and I'll tell you my strategy. So my grand strategy for the Caucasus is to turn it into a mining empire, because how Europa Barbarum works is that mining brings tons of money that will help me to finance my campaigns abroad. So because of this I will be able to finance my horse archers pretty soon, which will become the devastation of the Middle East. And I have discovered a new faction and we will start our turn by trying to become friends with them. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm We'll go to the Getai. Speak with them at once. And first and foremost, we'll ask for trade rights, map information, and we should give them some map information. Pretty sure they will accept this. So, now we know where the Getai are. Now we're gonna go for an alliance with them because I really like this faction and they can be really useful when I start invading Greece later on in the game. So, they are my new allies. And they've got this massive stack here with some really scary looking warriors that I wouldn't want to face in battle except if I had tons and tons of skirmishers and towards archers. So my opponent Hyastanius has gotten himself a clerk. This gives him 5% bonus on tax incomes. This is really nice. So, and Samus has lost his well supplied. Engage the enemy! Attack! Mighty general! Forward! Okay. Attack! So we got some money saved up. So what is my plan completely? So like here, my mind brings a 
plus 2000 however when we look here my mining brings an income of 600 however you know you have enough mines all over the Caucasus like Navatira and Kotais and also in Anikama this will help me to become the lord and master of the world through those mines After the Caucasus, I'm not sure which direction the conquest will continue. I got two options. I can continue to hit Mesopotamia, either the Levant, Mesopotamia and Levant, because then I need to go and attack the Sudex, or I can go towards the west and try to conquer everything of Asia Minor. Sire, attack! So we're taking on the winner. But I'm not going to build any remnant because I'm not going to attack them. This is going to be take us seven turns to take their capital. So in Kutais, we finished building our Mars, our satrapy. So now I'm going to build roads to get some road system and some trade going on. And we have a new... Person, new person joining our family. Bahe. Let's see of which branch he is. So, okay, he's Samus's grandson. Bahe. Okay, so. My eyes are yours. None so, shall come on. see me. Has still not been taken, so it's still waiting for us to take it. Like we can see here, it has good livestock. We keep making wine here. However, because my economy is so bad, I still cannot see half of my own kingdom and what's happening in the mountains. So I like to imagine that those mountains are filled with bandits. So okay, since we now have an alliance with the Getai, I will continue going command. down to try to reach Hellas. Yes, See if the Greeks and the Macedonians to here is to obey. want to trade Out of these, move, so sir. we discovered uh, Macedonia here. Seven turns, so let's finish our turn. Okay, our strategy, if we go east, it will bring us closer to other horse archer armies, which I'm not really a fan of. However, going west will bring us into contact with more hoplite armies, even more than normally. And it will also give us the chance to conquer the really rich cities at the uh, beginning. Like we got here Sardis, if I'm not mistaken, Pergamon, Halicarnassus, that will make us rich beyond belief. So my army is rationing now. Awaiting your command. To so, hear is to this obey. Is Bella. I will speak with them at once. So since because we have an alliance with someone that they are at war with, we cannot build a alliance with them. So let's get some trade right and map information from them. Okay, so they declined. Accepting anything else, they would still decline. I'm gonna try it the next turn to see if we can get only get a trade right out of that. At the same time, I'm gonna check if I can build anything at my capital. Nope. So let us end our turn here. See what happens. Okay, yeah. I was talking about it because uh, those cities at the GN are so wealthy, it will help me to build more armies because armies are the most expensive thing in Europa Marvarum when we don't think about navies. So let me see. There's a ceasefire between the Archie Seleucia and the Hellenic Free States. We finished building a road network in Kotais in the Ikisi province. So now I'm gonna build 
coastal clearing. This will bring me a lot of trade. And I hope that this devastation will be gone really soon. And we have another family member. Uh, Narek. He's the king's kind of great cousin, I guess. Okay, this is our finance, minus nine. However, when we look at our diplomacy, so when we go to Getai, they're already at war with Macedonia and with the Sarmatians. So Getai could possibly be in a lot of trouble with the Sarmatians. I believe they should be able to handle the Macedonians. However, I'm going to try to get an alliance with the Hellenic Free States because they could help me later on to tackle the Macedonians as well. But my first problem will be Archie Silkiae. But since they are enemies with a lot of people, they shouldn't be that much of a problem. And their armies are really static. So, okay. Year of History. Talos, one of Pergamon, is born. Tinians, other Kalias, Rome suffers an extremely cold winter. It mints its first silver coinage. A Semnite brigand named. Lulus is finally suppressed by consular armies and they campaign against the Karasini. War breaks out between the Romani and the Picentes. Okay, let's try Sire, to get our only trade agreement. This shouldn't be a problem, everybody loves money. So we got our trade right. So our next move would be to at move once. towards Athens. Yes, my liege. I will speak with and them at once. An ally. No. First, we should try to get trade rights and map information from them. Ah, goddamn. Why doesn't anyone want me to? Let's try an alliance now. Yep, see? So we should try this next turn and see if it works. Okay, five more turns. And we should be finished here. Okay, let's end the turn. One of the reasons I really do not like playing um, Siege Battles is because it costs me too many soldiers and I don't like seeing my soldiers die for some reason. So, one more year. Next year in the fall we should have this city. Okay, financial still a little bit better. One more turn and we have our small port ready. And we can build here. Seragain Havak. This is a tribal conscription. However, we're gonna wait with that because I really want to build this, even though it will cost me a lot of money. But in the meantime, I'm going to build a river port, which will bring me more tradable goods, so it will help me get more money. However, I'm not sure. Nah, I'm gonna build it. Okay, let's go back to Attica. Great Try to one! Get I will speak trade rights at first. once. So we got a trade right with them. Let's try to get an alliance now. Okay, so let's try to get our map information now and see if it works. Okay, so we know a little bit more about the world. Sire, our next point should be to move towards the yes, heroes, my but liege. I'm not sure where they are located. Yes, my liege. Okay, here they are. Find my next. I will speak with them at once. Okay, after I'm done there, I'm gonna start heading back because I want to get trade rights with the Tolly Meyer. But also, I want to go back all the way down to Arabia to get a trade rights with the Saba. One of my favorite Orders. factions. Okay, let us end our turn here. Okay, 
so we finished all our coastal clearing, so now we're gonna have trade already with some of our allies. For some reason Pontos still hasn't taken the city. Okay, I don't know why, but it's the AI. So my alliance is growing. So let me go back to Epirus and Sire, get a nice trade ride with them. Speak with them at once. Let's get some trade rights and try to get some map information out of them as well. Okay, so they've got quite a lot of the Illyrian coast. Sire? So I'm gonna start hitting back. Yes, my liege. I'm gonna yes, get my across liege. the Hellspunt. Okay. Sire! Three more turns and we can go to battle. However, I'm going to cut the video here. I'll see you guys next time.